Hello students, let us start with question number 5 of P.S. Padawal of Accounting Ratios. I discussed with you in my previous video that I will bring those questions in which direct items related to a particular ratio will not be given. You can see in this question, working capital is given to us 6 lakh, total debt is given to us 27 lakh, non-current liabilities are given to us 24 lakh and we have to find out ratio, current ratio. You know children, current ratio establishes relationship between current assets and current liabilities. And both the items straight away are not given in question. Now let us move on to my pattern. Three heads are falling on the liability side, which is your holders fund, non-current liability and current liability. Similarly, three heads are falling on the asset side. One is non-current asset, then non-current investment and current asset. Before we move on to the formula of working capital, let us move on towards total debt. You know children, total debt is equal to non-current liability plus current liability as I have shown in this pattern with purple border. So total debt is equal to non-current liabilities plus current liability. Let us put values in this formula as total debt is also given and non-current liabilities are also given. So, if total debt is given, which is equal to non-current liability plus current liability, exactly if we will remove non-current liability from here, what is left with us? That is current liability. And same we are doing here. Now, put the values and current liabilities will become 3 lakh. Now, we know current liabilities. Now, let us move on towards working capital. Children, working capital is equal to current assets minus current liabilities. I have shown with this green border. Working capital is given to us in question. Current liabilities we have found now. It means if we will handle these two, exactly we will come to know about current assets. And same we have done in this formula. Put on the values and your current assets will become rupees 9 lakh. Now you know current liabilities, you know current assets, you can easily find out current ratio, which is equal to 3 ratio 1. Now children, let us move towards 32nd question of P.S. Karewal of Accounting Ratios. In this question, we have to calculate current ratio and the direct items are not given to us. The first item given to us is total assets which is equal to NCA plus NCI plus CA. Hence, I have written 22 lakh over here. This is a balance sheet and you know in balance sheet, total assets are always equal to total liabilities. So total liabilities will also become 22 lakh. The next item given to us is fixed assets. Fixed assets means NCA and NCI. But because in this question it is written over there that there were no long term investments, it means NCI is zero. Hence, NCA, the value of NCA will become 10 lakh. Okay, now if your total assets are 22 lakh and if you will remove NCA and NCI from there, what is left with you? That is current assets. And the same thing we have done in the first box. And current assets will become rupees 12 lakh. Now let us move towards capital employed. Capital employed has two approaches. One is liabilities approach and other one is asset approach. Liabilities approach I have shown with this purple border. And I have covered up these two items in this border. And both the items are falling on the same side of balance sheet. Hence, in order to calculate capital employed on the basis of liabilities approach, the formula will become Capital employed is equal to shareholders fund plus non-current liabilities. If we will follow asset approach, this red border will tell you the relationship of the items in order to find out capital employed. Hence, the formula will become capital employed is equal to NCA plus NCI plus CA minus CL because CL is falling on the opposite side. Put on the values in either of the formula of capital employed, you will come to know that your current liabilities will become 2 lakh. Now you know your current assets, you know your current liabilities, you can easily find out current ratio, which is 6 ratio 1. 